Namaste everyone, it's Jenny. Thanks for tuning into my channel and make sure that you subscribe to my channel in order to get notifications on new videos that are coming up. Okay, so on today's topic, I wanted to talk about the new moon in Libra, which is coming up on September 25th. Now, this is a powerful new moon and I'm going to explain to you why this moon is so powerful. And as you can see, we have little Miss Bella here with us as she normally pops in and says hello, right, baby? Ooh, my little sweetheart. And then she normally just goes behind me as she normally sits and she relaxes. So um, make sure, like I'm saying, you subscribe to my channel. Um, make some comments too. Okay, let me know how you guys are doing, what's coming up for you, what's going on as well because I am going to soon be going live on YouTube and doing some free psychic clairvoyant readings. Okay, like during this time, I'm gonna pull a couple of cards collectively to see what spirit wants us to say. But when I do a private one-on-one -on -one reading, I don't use cards whatsoever. Okay, so let's um, talk about this new moon. And for anybody who does wanna book a reading with me, I'm gonna put my website below so you can contact me. And I also do free readings in my group in Facebook. So if you want to have an opportunity to have a free reading as well, by all means, join my group on Facebook. That information will be below. So um, anyways, the Libra full moon, you guys, it's very powerful. Um, the energy is very changing as new moons are more powerful. Um, than full moons, okay, because it, it brings in a huge um, energy of new beginnings. That's why it's a new moon, okay? So make sure you guys put your crystals out in the sun, put it under um, the energy of the moon as well. Not only do we have this new moon, we also have seven planets in retrograde, and we have the equinox coming forth here, just around the corner. So the, the planets are gonna be in retrograde as well from the 16th of September to the 22nd of September, which brings in a lot of craziness. And not only do we have that, we have Mercury retrograde as well. We're still in Mercury retrograde. And for those of you who wanna know more information on the uh, Mercury retrograde, please watch my other video that I had done on it to give you that insight and how to work with it and how to use utilize its energy to the fullest. Okay, so right now with this new moon coming up in September 25th here, it's, you know, it's all about personal growth. It's, it's all about negotiating things. There's a lot of cosmic activity this month going on. It's been in a really intense month, full moon, new moon, Mercury retrograde, solar flares, like huh? planets in retrograde, like, oh my gosh, right? Like it's been really intense but you can, you can flow with this energy as best as you can. Okay, so when you're looking at contracts, be very careful when you're signing things, make sure that you're reading over everything and you know what you're getting involved with. If you're uncertain, always take it to like a lawyer or a solicitor <clears throat> or somebody that knows exactly and can read through contracts to help you out more, okay? So this is about a time of more balance with things. And this month, it's also a time to kind of slow down and really reflect on a lot of different things that you have been through, especially the past few months, okay? And keep it real. Look at relationships, um, your career, your health routine, business. Do you wanna set um, new goals for yourself? Like now is the time. Like everybody says, well, when should I start my vision board? Should I start it like January 1st, a new year. And I'm like, you can start that anytime you want. It doesn't have to be um, January 1st, right? A lot of people do that January 1st, like new year, all of this, but you can start at any time. Like I, I do a, a vision board um, every year. And because I had manifested absolutely everything I had wanted, already this year, um, I had switched things at the last minute and say, okay, I'm not going that direction. So I had to create a new vision board, right? Um, and it's all about just writing things down. It doesn't matter how you're going to receive it, how and when, 
what you're doing as soon as you started write start writing things down what you'd like to do what you'd like to change what you'd like to manifest that energy goes automatically up to the universe to the spirit world and they're like okay um you know they would like to to have this to create that it doesn't matter write down more things i just added on something else yesterday actually i'm like oh you know actually i'd really like to learn more about that so i'm like okay write it down and spirit sees what you're doing believe me they, they see everything you can't run from spirit okay so make some changes and really um take a look at what your dreams are showing you there's been a lot of people that are saying you know i i had this vision i know it's going to happen because it came into my dreams like I literally saw like the relationship I was gonna go into. I recently saw what job I was gonna happen. I also got a message from my friend or family member in spirit. Oh, I know I'm going to be getting a new job or I had this, this dream that I was moving out of the city or buying a home or um, like anything. Really pay attention to your dreams. Like I really work with dreams as well. Like. Some people say, you know what, I had a dream that I was going to marry this celebrity, right? You know, and it's like, okay, um, that can happen. But let's take a look at what the real message is as well. So just start journaling more. Like, start journaling more. Write down things that, how is your day? Write the date at the top of the page. Really pay attention to who you were with that day. Like, if you woke up in the morning and you're like, okay, I'm going to go see a friend or whatever, and I'm going to do this and that. And if you go over to their place and they completely and utterly drain you, really pay attention to that. You got to start setting boundaries. You got to start taking time out for you. Just really, really pay attention to who is triggering you. How are your triggers getting triggered, right? It's just certain things that you have to work through. It's certain people and situations that are going to be shown to you more of, you know what, maybe it's time that I come to terms, look within my soul, look at reality of what is being shown, okay? Is my friendship with this person good? Is my relationship with this person good? Um, you know, am I getting treated with respect at my job? Am I not getting that raise? Now is the time, by the way, to ask for that raise. If you're like, you know what, I deserve a raise. Of course you do. Maybe it's time for you to really talk to your, your manager, your boss, or whoever it is, and say, you know, I've I been working really hard, and I really feel that I deserve a raise. This is also about risk-taking. So even if you're self-employed, maybe it's time to, you know, step it up a little bit. Maybe it's time to um, sign up to take some classes. Maybe it's time to contact somebody that can help you with certain things like regardless of what it is start writing things down and taking a little bit more risks like i'm not saying dangerous risks right but for those of you who are really risk takers i have a friend that like climbs mountains that like he's very adventurous like he does like are you seriously like oh my gosh i'm not that brave but he is so he takes different risks and things and that's just who he is so just be real careful, be realistic, but risk taking is like, you know, maybe I should take a look at making that move. Maybe I should take a, a risk and say, and tell that person, you know what, I love you. And you know, I don't know if you have feelings for me back or not, um, but I'm interested in getting to know you. It can be the simplest things. So write that even on your vision board, write it on your vision board, your vision board, will help you see things that you want to change and resolve as well. Okay, there's a lot of energy changes on the earth right now too with the solar flares. The solar flares, I did a separate video on that too, by the way, as well. So make sure you watch that, okay? And I give a lot of explanation at how it affects the earth, how it affects our animals and also ourselves. So we get a lot of um, energy coming through. And by the way too, during this time frame, um, don't have any surgery, like major surgery under the new moon, if possible, because your organs are a lot more sensitive, like even animals and stuff like that, the same thing, if your animals are having surgery um, during the new moon, um, you know, I, I, I don't recommend it. However, of course, surgeries have to be done too. 
you know, emergency surgeries or things just happen to be planned, right? So just surrender it. But just, you know, if you're like, you know what, I'd like to have a little cosmetic surgery or maybe I want to get my dog spayed or whatever during the new moon, try to, you know, get it done a few days after. I'm just saying, right? So um, it's going to bring this energy of brain fog this month. Some of you have been experiencing with the solar flares, um, headache, feeling nausea, feeling a little bit dizzy, body pressure, feeling a little bit of tiredness or even exhaustion, feeling more thirsty, food cravings, right? Some of you are like, I can't even eat. I'm feeling so nauseous. Pay attention to that. Listen to your body because your body talks to you in so many different ways. There's, I do body talk a lot of different times in many different ways myself. If I needed to get like supplements or something, I will, I will body talk and scan the energy from that. And um, that way I'm like, okay, maybe I don't need it right now or maybe it is good for me. So I can talk about that in another video. If you guys are interested, please let me know as well what you'd like me to discuss and talk about. Um, and you know, this moon is, is all about expansion, 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 and really pay attention to September 19th, by the way, um, that day is all about karma and fate and destiny. So I want to know what has happened to you that day, September 19th, circle it on your calendar and let me know what happens and like anything out of the ordinary maybe it's like all of a sudden you heard from that person maybe you heard from that job you wanted or or maybe all of a sudden that's the date you're going to sign a contract like whatever it is let me know i'm really curious to see what's going to happen for you guys i have a feeling i know it's going to happen to me but i don't know I surrender it i don't even go there you know um be courage you guys September 30th, Venus energy is here, which is all about love, love vibes. And during Mercury retrograde, we have people from our past coming back that gives you different options to choose from. Again, watch that video. Okay, so you're also during this energy with the Libra new moon. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of massive changes going on with Earth, as I said. I um, mean, that energy is taking us into October too. You're going to see different qualities of foods like you've noticed that of course you know like prices have skyrocketed like i was talking to um you know people in the us um you know rents are getting lower you can buy a house easier here in canada i just got a huge rent increase right things here are skyrocketing you know and rentals and stuff and i'm like seriously you guys aren't getting it like you know energy powerful government powerful all of this crap greediness you're not getting it and this is one of the biggest problems with Earth, right? We're not with Earth, mind you, um, with certain energies. And a lot of truth is going to be exposed more and has been exposed more in media. Pay attention to what events has happened and what is coming. No one can run away from karma, bottom line. Okay, how you treat other people, it's coming right back to you tenfold, okay? hugely so be very careful what you're doing be very careful where your mind is pay attention to your soul get out of ego listen to your soul listen to your heart you know put your hand on your heart take time and silence out for yourself put your hand on your heart go in silence mode ask spirit spirit i'm open to see and hear messages that are best for my highest self and purpose what are you hearing? What messages are coming through for you? Let it flow. Let it flow. We, we all have abilities. We all are gifted in our own unique ways. We truly are. And you have to listen to your soul, the messages. And sometimes people don't want to hear those messages of truth coming through, so they run from it. And they, they, again, go into the fear mode with their ego and such like that. Like, we all have our own journey. I'm not judging anybody right so just really really pay attention to um radical changes that are happening right now too there's some currency changes that are going to be happening um as well like i'm saying there's scams going on there's a lot of darkness coming to the truth there's a lot of truth coming to darkness and there's a lot of energy um if you notice a lot of light workers people that are trying to share positive energy they're getting attacked by the dark forces and especially right now you're going to see and feel 
um, a lot more of your guides and angels are a lot more closer to you than ever. And that's why you're also starting to get a lot more vivid dreams too. Okay, so make sure that you do things, um, you know, like whatever it is to calm you down. Meditation, like I, I meditate twice a day. Sometimes I can spend the whole day in silence and tune in and get messages coming in from my soul. Some people, they'll even put a shawl over their head or a scar scarf and tune in. There's so many ways you can meditate, so many different ways. You can listen to a guided meditation. You can walk in silence. You can go in touch with nature, um, whatever it is. But just be in silence within yourself. That's when you will hear messages coming through. Okay, so make sure you take time to review these past few months and really keep it real. Like whenever I was teaching meditation classes monthly before COVID, um, I would always ask and tell everybody, be open to what messages your soul is going to show you. Be really open to that. Okay. And don't force messages coming through. If you try to force to hear messages, you're not going to hear anything. Okay. So the Libra new moon brings a lot of justice and balance with things, um, legal issues, um, you know, and the energy of the earth, like I said, is changing rapidly. When we don't respect Mother Earth. As you can clearly see, Mother Earth is more powerful than anything. It's going to fight back. And a lot of people just throw trash. They just, they do whatever they want. Any nuclear wars, any wars, any negative energy, it affects the vibrational frequency of Mother Earth. Seriously, seriously. Okay, don't get me started on that. I can talk about that, but I'm not. Okay. So take time out for you, um, really pay attention and, you know, speak your truth and walk in your own truth. If you're trying to be somebody you're not, it's not going to work out for you. You can attract all kinds of things to you, but if you're not in alignment with that vibrational frequency, you're not going to expand. You're not going to go in the direction you want to go in. It's going to come back and bite you in the butt right? People are like, I know, but this person, you know, how come they're, all of this is happening for them and not to me. Let that go. That has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. What, how does that person's success or failure have anything to do with you? Not, nothing. Be authentic. Be honest. Walk in your own path that resonates with you. Honestly, seriously. Okay, so anyways, let's pull a couple of cards, okay, see what spirit has to say, and, um, you know, we'll keep it real, and, and, and just make sure you guys clear any cards three times on wood, the last time you used it, we're going to get a couple of messages here from Gateway of Light Activation with Kyle Gray, I love this deck, and because things are so cosmic, we're going to hit it up a few notches, right? So what's the message from Spirit to help us through this Libra full moon? What's the message? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, cards fly out for me. The central sun. Abundance downloads regeneration and success. Absolutely. Sun. Get in touch with the sun. That's pranic energy. Pranic energy can come through you, can heal you, can clear you, can make you feel better, give you a lot more energy. Go into the sun. And it doesn't matter if you're like minus 30, like here in Canada in the winter gets minus 40, 50s. Oh my God. But the sunshine is pranic energy regardless of what. So wherever you are, get outside, go for a walk, get some fresh air, regenerate. Okay. Take time out for you. Review. Regeneration. Revive your body, mind, and spirit. Okay. Very important to do. Very important to do. Okay. Let's pull a couple of cards here. Um, I only felt one card to pull by that. Um, by the way, sometimes I pull, most of the time I pull two cards, but I felt with that deck, I only wanted to pull one. Okay. So let's work with the Daily Crystals by Heather Askinois. I love crystals. I love them dearly. I scan and feel the energy. I hear their messages for miles away and I'm like, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I know I'm a little different, but that's the way it is. So spirit, what is the collective message? Oh, wow. Oh, is this so cool or what? 
the energy, the crystal right now is citron, bring in the light. Look how beautiful that. Citrine is also too about prosperity, abundance, and such like that. And look how it says bring in the light. Absolutely. Like stay away from the darkness. Stay away from toxic situations. Stay away from negative people, negative situations, drama, all of that. There's so much drama going on in the world with negative and dark forces and fear and all of that. Distance yourself from that. Okay, stay in your own light. Stay who you surround yourself with is who you become. Okay, so if you're hanging out with people that are negative, judgmental, um, you know, like racist, they only see things one way only, and that's it. They, you know, they talk more so from their ego, like whatever it is. I'm just saying any negative energies, stay away from, or else it's going to go right through you, and it's going to change your energy. And it can manipulate you and it can control your mind. And then you're going to end certain situations that you were so confused about because of their fear, because of their energy. So stay in the light, you guys. I'm actually going to pull another card here from these crystals. I really am. What is the collective message um, for um, everyone? For this Libra new moon, what's the collective message here for the Libra new moon? What's the collective message here for the Libra full moon or new moon? Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. Oh, I love the ocean. I love the ocean. I was moving to the ocean. I had a place. I had everything. I had everything I manifested. And at the last second, I changed my mind. Again, just seconds before I was going to sign the contract to my new place, I walked away. Don't even get me started on the details, but I can clearly see why I've had so many messages. Every time I wanted to move forward and move there and move there, every single time there's been major reasons why, right? And there's a huge reason why that I've always felt, that I've always seen, and I feel it's stronger now too. And I'm like, you can't go there. That is not the place for you for many reasons. So I'm very grateful for, that's why it's really important to listen within Listen within your soul to hear those messages, okay? And it says here, schedule yourself in. Schedule yourself in here for a break. Schedule yourself in to take time out for you. Setting boundaries, setting boundaries will set you free. Setting boundaries, you'll be able to hear more messages coming in. Because when you're getting drained from people, it will really affect you. I get slammed with over 2,000 messages a day. My priority is my clients. Okay, so if you don't hear back from me, let's say in a couple of days, please send me another message because even with Mercury retrograde, messages have a tendency to go missing as well. So um, just, just pay attention, you guys, okay? So I'm just gonna pull a card here, um, Saints, Angels with Doreen Virtue and see what messages, what is the messages for the collective for the Libra new moon on the 25th of September? What is, I didn't feel that card that fell. I'm very sensitive. I can feel energy right away. What is the collective message here for everyone? Wow. Wow. Okay, so the card animals fell out. Okay, so some of you might be getting a pet. Um, some of you might have just had to put a pet down. I've had a lot more clients um, dealing with animal communication. I'm also an animal communicator too, by the way. Because during this time frame, especially the new moon, um, solar flare energy, a lot more animals decide to pass on. They decide to leave the earth. The energy is too intense for them. They're very sensitive. So please pay attention to um, how your animals are. Um, you know, animals do get affected. Um, you know, signs is some of them might be more itchy. Some of them might be, you know, more tired. Some of them might be like not eating as much. So you're going to be like, oh no, I'm really worried about my animal. Of course, always take them to your veterinarian. If you're concerned, absolutely do that. Okay. Um, but the solar energy does affect your animals as well. So I'm not surprised this card came out whatsoever. Okay, so let's just pull one last card here for the collective from Spirit. What is the message for the Libra new moon? I didn't feel those cards. What is the collective message? Wow. Mother Mary, mother energy, mother energy coming through. 
okay it very well be that you know with this mother energy coming through too um, I've noticed personally myself that a um, few people I've known their mothers have just passed on recently or their mothers have just been diagnosed with um, a health issue um, maybe it's time for you to go see your mother maybe it's time for you to heal that energy if you had any grudges from your mother or even some of you might be getting more messages from your mother who has passed on in spirit um, in your dreams that's why I said earlier pay attention to what dreams are coming through vividly there's so many messages um, for you in your dreams and I can certainly help you through that and give you the clarity that you need I give a lot of detailed reading cat past life Akashic records animal communications psychic clairvoyant you name it okay so subscribe to my channel you guys make some comments let me know what's going on with your life how this energy is affecting you and especially on the September the 19th okay so let's kick it up a few notches until next time you guys i'll see you later bye